stuff technically I'm supposed to be filming a shop my stash video and choosing new items but y'all I'm not ready I'm not ready I know I said I was gonna do every two weeks for those of you who care but I'm not ready okay <laughs> so, it might be every three weeks I don't know but anyways I'm about to use some of my shop my stuff shop my stash stuff with you guys in this video so i mean i know i'm looking a little dry a little dusty right now because you know face is clean washed so i'm gonna go in with some of this um biro tomato serum just to kind of get that penetrating in my skin along with the moisturizer that i have which is my juno and co that i chose so i chose the juno and co moisturizer for this shop mustache so let's go ahead and get some of the serum and moisturizer soaking into my skin before I do my um, eyebrows I typically like to do my eyebrows off camera because I am no eyebrow expert you guys at all at all <laughs> And sometimes it takes me a minute, you know, to get them looking like at least cousins, you know. Sisters on a really good day. Never have they been twin sisters, but, you know, sisters on a good day. At least with the same mama. At least, at least with the same mama, okay? <laughs> they might have different baby daddies, <laughs> different daddies, but at least, you know, they can have the same mama, so okay there we go we got the serum on and it feels really really good so yeah this is the what is it called the miracle cream this is the juno and co moonshine miracle cream that i have been using this stuff is really nice really thick really moisturizing so yeah you really don't need a lot but I like for my skin to be very nicely moisturized so yeah I go in with a really decent amount I think the problem for me you guys with weekly bi-weekly um, shop my stashes is I don't put on makeup every day I, I don't <laughs> I typically only put on makeup when I feel like doing an eye look. So, because of the fact that I choose so many palettes, it's hard for me to, you know, get through my shot mustache. So, I am going to be using this uh, Nabla Viper Lip Plumping. Is it a gloss, a serum, or something? Yeah, it's that new Viper Lip Plumper that they came out with I have tried this once it's kind of cool you know it twists to get some of the stuff to come up and it's just clear um I put this on once and this stuff be tangling okay it really does now whether or not it plumped my lips the jury is still out on that you guys let me know because I'm putting it on right now and I'm not gonna take it off until I'm ready to, you know, put on my lipstick. So y'all can let me know. This is what my lips look like right now, okay? <laughs> so by the time I finish my face, it usually takes me a good 45 minutes or whatever. And it says that it starts working within two minutes. So you guys can let me know just how plump my lips get, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyebrows, you know, 
off camera, come back, and then we can start on the eye look. Oh, the palette I'm using today is going to be my BH Cosmetics Pistachio. Y'all, yeah, we about, we about to go green today, okay? This palette is so bomb. <laughs> so, so bomb. So, we gonna jump into that. Let me put these eyebrows on and then we can go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, so we have at least stepsisters today for the brows. I ain't tripping. I'm not tripping, okay? It's one thing I do not stress over is my brows. And just in case you never heard me talk about what I use, I use my Pure On Point pencil, which is actually an eyeliner for my brows, but I like the color. And then I clean it up with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. So let's go ahead and prep the lids. I'm going to be using my P. Louise base today. I don't know, I just, this stuff is just never, never fails, okay? No matter what eyeshadow I'm using, no matter what I'm doing, it just never fails me. So let's go ahead and just lay some of this down. It's funny, I was sitting here just, you know, obviously when you're putting on your makeup, let me bring you guys in little bit okay but obviously when you are you know doing your makeup <laughs> as closely and you know as often as a content creator or someone you know that does a lot of makeup looks you get very familiar with different things going on on your face and stuff like that <laughs> And I just noticed like the older I get, I always knew I was gonna have a lot of like moles and stuff on my face because my mom has a lot of moles. You know, I have them all over my body and stuff like that. And I'm just noticing like the older I get, that's like the more moles that I see on my face. It's so funny. And my two um, besties <laughs> here on YouTube, um, DJ just peachy D and Lily live in life they do the cutest makeup looks where they add the faux freckles you know because that's all the rage that's hot right now you know or whatever and they look so stinking cute I love them and you know they can add a little bit of you know just that extra little cuteness to your makeup look ciao I tell them all the time I am not about to put no imitation spots on my face. I have enough real ones. <laughs> like, you want me to spend an hour covering up all the real spots on my face just to go in afterwards and add a bunch of imitation spots? I can't do it. I just I can't do it. So yeah, I don't know if I will ever try the whole faux freckle trend or whatever but yeah that's one thing where it looks so cute to me and I love when they do it and I love seeing it on other people but for me I'm like child that just that do not make sense I spend too much time trying to cover up all my natural spots <laughs> so anyway I'm just just talking okay so I have my lids prepped now I got to figure out what I want to do with this beautiful green palette here you guys I don't think I'm gonna do anything too wild and crazy because I don't want to think about it too much and I don't want to take too long so we're going to start out do I want to go dark to light or light to dark I think I want to go light to dark today yeah so let's start out with this shade here, super light matte green, and I'm just going to place that in my crease. And I like to just kind of tap, tap and blend, depending on, you know, how I think the shadow is gonna perform, just to kind of get a feel for the pigmentation, how it's going to, um, you know, apply on my eyes and you know if I'm using the right brush so when I start out I kind of just man these Morphe brushes look at that it's shedding on my face <laughs> but yeah I kind of just go in and like tap and then if I see the pigmentation coming down how I want it to then I'll go ahead and start blending so that's what I'm doing with this just placing that down 
so definitely pigmented as you can see and how I like to do eye looks unless I have a specific eye look in mind which of course today I don't but unless I have a specific eye look in mind I typically just kind of start throwing color on my eye <laughs> so if you watch me sometimes you might be like what is she doing like she has no real direction no rhyme or reason she doesn't go in like nice and neat and strategic yeah if I don't have an eye look in mind honey I just go for it and we just see what happens <laughs> so yeah so how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a nice weekend. Hopefully I get this video up <laughs> before the weekend is over and it doesn't take me too long to edit. That's one thing about doing videos. I don't know, if you're like a content creator, you already know what goes into editing, you know, stuff like a, a makeup video and things like that or even a vlog whatever the case may be but yeah it's like it could take me like all day to film you know do pictures and snippets for Instagram edit videos for YouTube it's like it's a lot okay it's a lot and you know I take my hat off to people that do it as their full-time job because it truly is work okay it is work now for me I try to be semi consistent you know I, I do I try to okay I'm gonna go into this green here but I try to be semi consistent I know that if I really wanted to take um, YouTube you know super serious as like you know my job that you know I would post more I would do more um, you know different types of videos and stuff like that which I try to give some variety but since this is truly a hobby for me and quite honestly I really want it to stay that way at my age honey I, I'm not looking for a new job so I don't want <laughs> I don't want this to be work for me I just don't um I want it to be my happy place where I come and I enjoy stress-free you know I could talk to my viewers and just kind of enjoy playing with makeup playing with color which is what I really really love to do you know so yeah I really take my hat off to my fellow youtubers who do it as a job because honey you have got to be consistent I mean truly consistent and I feel like there's you know there's room out here for everybody of course you know being an older woman <laughs> being a black woman you know I have different struggles as far as being successful in growth on YouTube in general you know it's like shoot we out here <laughs> trying to compete with these youngins you know these youngsters and I ain't no spring chicken okay but um I just love makeup I love the transformation you know I can sit down in front of the camera or just in front of a mirror whether I'm filming or not and put on makeup and it's like I just become a whole nother woman okay <laughs> you think I'm playing okay I mean listen granted you know my husband sees me every day he knows what I look like when I roll over out of bed and he knows what I look like you know when I clean it up a little bit and, you know polish it up right so but I'm telling you I always know when I do a good job with my makeup, you know, because he'll come in and be like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, he'll be like, all right, you know, hello. Yeah, you did you did a good job today, boo, okay? So, yeah, it's like, you know, I just love the fact that a woman can just transform her whole look. And you can just, you can become whoever you want to be. You know, all these men out here just like starstruck by Beyonce like hey I could be Beyonce if I want to just 
give me a little bit of hair and give me a, a good hour and a half, okay? And I'll be your Beyonce for sure, <laughs> okay? Don't trip, don't trip. Okay, so now I'm going into the darkest green in the palette. But yeah, like I was saying, I take my hat off to all the beauties that are out here working it, okay? Because it's not easy. And me personally, like I said, it's a hobby for me, so I do not stress out at all. The most stressful part of makeup for me is trying to figure out what palette to use when I sit down. That is absolutely the most stressful part for me because I sit down and it's my own fault because I'm addicted to makeup. I buy too many palettes. You know, what are you going to do? And I sit down and I'm like, child, what palette am I going to use today? And since it's not a job for me, I can use whatever palette I want to. You know, I don't have to use nothing. <laughs> so, you know, I really, really love that um, about makeup and all that good stuff. But yeah, so yeah, very pigmented, very pretty, very nice. I mean, it's coming together. As you can see, I'm just blending it out. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this eye and then we will figure out the lid. Okay guys, so that's as close as we're going to get today. Let me take a look at some of these shimmers. Okay, I know the lightest one I'm going to pop in my, ooh, Lord have mercy on my soul child child okay the lightest one i'm gonna pop in the inner corner you know basic look i think i'm gonna go ahead and fade these three out on my lid so let's go ahead and do that and i'm not going to put down any glitter glue or anything we're doing a real lazy look today um so i'm just going to pick up some of this gorgeous shimmer I probably should. I probably shouldn't be lazy because I'm going to get glitter and shimmer all over my face. Okay, I'm not going to put down any glitter primer. I'm just going to spray my brush so that, <laughs> so that it doesn't um, get too messy. But yeah, I'm not going to put down anything to cut my crease or anything because since this is just a monochromatic green look, I don't mind if, you know, things just kind of fade into each other doesn't have to be super neat not today so listen do you guys watch vlog channels I've really been getting into vlog channels um, lately I've always watched them but for some reason maybe it's because I really want to vlog I really do I really would love to kind of like bring you guys more into my life a little bit even though it can get quite hectic you know with my husband he has a lot going on I try to live a more simple easy breezy life but hubby has a lot going on okay so <clears throat> it can get a little hectic around here but yeah I've been watching like quite a few vlog channels i really like the ones where they're like decorating and stuff like that and they go you go shopping with them and all that stuff so i don't know that's something i would love to do but i don't know if my audience would like to watch that it might just open me up to a wider audience i guess of people that do like vlogs and then they can kind of check me out sometimes but yeah i feel like that would be fun you know you guys can hang out with me sometime and you know see what I'm cooking what I'm eating if I manage to work out that week <laughs> you know just decorating doing different stuff around the house so I'm just curious if you guys would oh I'm taking that shimmer up very very high today it's all good but I'm curious if you guys would be interested in like some vlog videos because I love them. I sit there and watch somebody else living their life all day long, which is the craziest thing because I'll be sitting here watching somebody else um, cook and shop and work out and put on makeup and stuff. And I'm sitting here like, child, you know, that's what you're supposed to be doing, right? You're supposed to be creating content, not watching it. So 
but I feel like if I like watching it that much, obviously a lot of other people do too. So anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there. So yeah, these shimmers are performing gorgeously and they probably will look even brighter on, you know, like a, um, y'all see how quick and easy I'm doing this lazy eyeshadow today. So I am really trying to figure out, quite honestly, what I want to do on my channel. I mean, of course, it's a beauty channel. You guys know I love makeup, but I really want to expand and I really want to know, you know, because of course, having different subscribers chime in. Some people really, really like, you know, makeup tutorials or chit chat, get ready with me. But my analytics is telling me most of y'all don't <laughs> so you know i even though i love you know putting on makeup and doing videos for you guys to see because some of you guys really do like to see you know technique and you know different products and stuff being used apparently a lot of people don't a lot of people like to just see makeup they like to just see the um shop mustaches they like to just see the hauls they like to just see collection videos stuff like that and because of that it's kind of like as a content creator i'm like well what do i want what do i do because i really do want to give you guys what you want so you know in this video you guys can chime in and you know, I kind of have to go by the majority. Oh, look at this green, y'all. But I do. I kind of have to just go by the majority because although I love doing tutorials and chit chats and all that stuff, honey, the numbers, the views, mm -mm, it say that that's not what you guys want. So, anywho, and obviously, even though I like shopping, a lot I like buying makeup you know I can't just do hauls all the time and y'all know how I do with the shop my stashes I should I be doing shop my stashes every two months <laughs> if you leave it up to me so anyway I'm just running my mouth for you guys I really am I'm trying to actually get more comfortable talking while I'm doing my makeup for one because you know I think it will kind of help me to improve my skills if I can talk while I'm doing my makeup, you know, and it look, it come out looking halfway decent, right? And also, if I do want to start vlogging, I know I'm going to have to start talking more. So anyway, this is pretty much the eye look. Let me go ahead, throw on some liner and lashes, and then we can move on to the face. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and put on some black eyeliner today. And I went in with some of my Profusion Old Darling Iconic Lashes. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and move quickly with the face because this video is going to be super long because I was running my mouth when I was doing my eyes. <laughs> so I'm going in with my Milk Makeup. This is the um, Hydro Grip Primer. So I'm just going to place this all over my face. Now normally before I go in with foundation, I will do a little bit of color correcting or just kind of trying to tone down my dark circles and my hyperpigmentation around my mouth. I usually use, um, dang, where is it? I usually use my little Essence um, camouflage concealer, but since I purchased this XX Revolution bronzer in the wrong shade, if you watched my um haul you know that i got the shade candid which is too light <laughs> for a bronzer it's more absolutely my skin tone i'm just going to go in with a bit of this um on a little sponge and just kind of tap it in the areas that i normally color correct just to kind of help tone them down a bit before i go in with my foundation so you know you can definitely repurpose um, beauty items and things like that when they don't work for you for a certain, 
you know, thing that you might have bought them for, you can always try to repurpose them. So that's what I'm doing with this, since this is a step that I do all the time anyway. So I'm just kind of going in, and I kind of like the fact that it's like kind of matte, you know, it's not dewy or shiny or anything. So it actually kind of works nicely to tone down my dark circles. So yeah, just kind of seeing how this wears underneath my foundation throughout the day. Now y'all, I have noticed more and more that <laughs> my mustache is just getting out of control, okay? It's just getting out of control. And I've seriously been thinking about like waxing my face, but I'm scared y'all. I'm scared to wax. I'm scared to shave. I'm scared to hydroplane, hydroderm, whatever it's called. I'm scared to do all of that, okay? Because I do not want to be out here with no full-fledged beard okay and I just feel like that's a possibility for your girl so anywho so just using that to kind of tone it down now for my shop mustache I actually picked um the Estee Lauder double wear which is bomb okay I had this on uh the other night and my husband was like dang you not like shiny or melting or anything and you know when a man notices differences in your makeup there's a difference okay so he noticed but i'm not going to use that because i want to actually use this huda beauty glowish for you guys and plus you know i don't feel like being matte today so this is the what is it called multi do whatever you know y'all can y'all can read it because you know i can't I can't see that close but anyways it's the glowish and um, I'll put it on the screen I think I have deep tan and so I'm gonna put this on just so you guys can kind of see how it works out for me because I actually really really like this stuff it is very glowy but you know once I put on my powder and stuff it's a really really nice finish to me so I'm just gonna go in and just apply some on my face directly from the container and I'm using a damp sponge and I'm just going to kind of, you know, blend it out. So as you can see, it's definitely giving glow, <laughs> do, um, you know, natural, healthy, skin um with decent coverage you know so i feel like for you know people who like a nice glowy dewy finish you'll probably like this um foundation so for concealer i'm using my l'oreal infallible full wear And I will list everything with the shades that I'm using down in my description box. Now for my shop mustache, I did choose the Tatcha powder. I have already used this and it is a very, very nice powder. Very nice, very fine. I find that personally, I um, prefer to add a little bit of warmth along with brightening under my eyes. So, and of course this being a translucent, it doesn't do that. And when I use that, even use this, even with a small amount, I can still kind of see you know the whiteness of it a little bit just because i'm used to seeing warmth so i'm gonna go ahead and use my Too faced um the peach perfect powder this one because it does add a little bit of warmth under my eyes and i like that better and that was part of my shot mustache as well so i'm not cheating 
Now I got this cute little container from Amazon. It came with like some of the powder puffs that you use, you know, to powder your face with, but it came with this cute little container, you know, so you can store your powder in there. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this to grab some powder. And I'm just using a pointed brush because I don't want to apply too much powder today. I find that although I do like applying with the sponge sometimes, sometimes it can just be a little bit too much powder for me and my old under eye area. <laughs> so if I go in with a brush, I can kind of control the amount of powder that lays down a little bit better. And I love this shape of brush because, you know, I can apply the powder exactly where I want it to be since it has like a little pointed, you know, a little pointed tip. So as you can see, even a little bit of powder definitely tones down that dewiness, that glow a bit, but it still looks, you know, nice and natural and healthy. So I like it. Okay, you guys, so for powder, I chose my J-Cat Aquasurance. Um, this is actually a powder foundation. Don't you love how you just get makeup all over your cute little hair accessories? <laughs> no worries, I can wash it. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna go in and powder up with my J-Cat. I feel like I picked up a lot. I love this powder. It's so nice, I really, really do. For it to be, you know, an affordable brand, it works out really really nicely now for bronzer I have this Beauty Bay bronzer in the shade chestnut and this bronzer is actually kind of red pulling it pulls a bit red so I have to kind of be careful with it because you know it can like borderline be a blush if I'm not careful or if you like this shade you can use it as a blush you see Nice bronzer, but it does pull a little red. So I try to just kind of dust it. Okay, and for blush, I have my CoverGirl. This is the True Blend in the shade Hot Frenzy. So pretty bold blush, but it's all good. I got a bold eye, we doing a bold blush today. <laughs> I'll try to go easy. <laughs> Look at all that color, Lord have mercy. I really don't want to look like a clown today, but y'all know I love color on my cheeks. So just going in lightly, just a little bit, y'all. And I'm not going to put blush all over my face like I normally do. <laughs> okay, that's pretty, not too bad. So beautiful shade, and I just used just a little bit. And then for highlight, I'm going to go in with my Juvie's Place. This is the Heroin Glow 1. And so, so pretty. So I'm trying to go in lightly, even though no matter how small of an amount I put on, it always seems to just be crazy. Okay. Okay, you guys, so I'm just going to kind of set all of this powder in place with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic <laughs> Setting Mist. And then I'll come back, finish the eyes, and we'll see what's happening with these lips. They're not looking too plump to me, okay? Okay, you guys, so I am back now, ready to finish up this face. And we need to do this lower lash line. So I'm gonna go in with one of my Beauty Creations pencils. This is Aquamarine. So we're gonna kind of play off that little hint of Aquamarine that I have in this eye look. Do I need to sharpen this? I kind of do, but I'm gonna see if I can get away with using it one more time without sharpening it. Okay, and I think I wanna just go dark green on the lower lash line so I'm just gonna go back into the darkest matte in the palette and I'm just going to take like a pencil style brush and just kind of smoke out this lower lash line 
I really hope you guys find my, um, you know, makeup videos, tutorials, and things like that fairly easy to follow if you want to recreate the look yourself. You know, I know everybody doesn't walk around with green eyeshadow on, but <laughs> if you like to just kind of have fun and play in makeup, or if you do walk around with colorful eyeshadow like I do, um, you know, uh, hopefully you're able to just kind of follow step by step and create the same look as me. So I think what I'm going to do is go into the second darkest matte and just kind of soften that up a little bit. Just a little bit though because I do want it to be nice and smoky. Now I'm going to go into this beautiful bright shade here. Of course you guys know I need that inner corner pop. And I just kind of go in with a little bit of what's left over on the brush that had the dark, dark green matte on it and just kind of tone it down right here on that lower lash line just so you can still see that brightness but it's just kind of toned down a little bit with that matte so yeah I like that okay a little bit of mascara and I am using my Thrive Cosmetics mascara okay now for that lip plumper I don't feel like it plumped my lips it tingled for a good 20 minutes but <laughs> it did not do anything to plump my lips I don't think so y'all let me know I mean y'all looking at my lips I don't think so though so I'm gonna do a nude lip today so I'm gonna go in with this little I think this is a generic brown lip liner that I got from Amazon nothing special you know what I got some new lip liners what did I do with them I ordered some new lip liners in my last haul from LA Girl. Cha! What did I do with my lip liners? Ooh. Mm. Okay, you guys. So I started doing my nude lip and forgot to press record. So I did go in with one of my new um, LA Girl Shockwave nude lip liners in Chai Latte. And then I also went in with one of my ColourPop lipsticks. This one is just a nice creamy matte lipstick in quickie is dirty that's not cute okay so now that I wiped all my lip liner off <laughs> it's in the shade quickie which is a really really just light peachy nude shade and I just I love that look sometimes and now I'm going in with one of my one of my Maybelline lifter glosses I love these glosses as well because I want a little bit of a shine for this new lip. And this one has a little bit like of a peachy tone to it as well. So it goes well with that lip and lip liner combo. So I will list these down in the description box just in case you're curious. But that is the new lip. And this is the final look for today, you guys super duper bold green eye <laughs> and I love it I absolutely love it but I love every single one of these BH Cosmetics uh, palettes this one is no different I love the blue the green the red the purple all of them so this is it for today you guys hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with me while I created this look and hopefully I didn't talk too much because if I did I'm really going to be annoyed when I'm editing this video <laughs> So that's it you guys I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful upcoming week if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit like definitely subscribe if you like it girl and I will see you in my next video Doodle!